Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Geek Out Championship Wrestling. The only wrestling podcast with the, uh, I don't know, the stuff. The stuff. To do an episode on a pay-per-view Lee status. I am your host with the most, Mr. Chris Nolan. And across the ring from me is my co-host with the co-most. That's right. Mr. Timmy C. Yes, and I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the Undisputed Champion arrives mm. from the opposite side of the ring. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We have a pay-per-view to review. We do. We have tables, ladders. Do we have chairs? Chairs. We have chairs. Kendo sticks. <laughs> oh, wait, that wasn't included, but it was. Uh, it was yes. there. Yeah, well, when you shake things up, Ooh. you might as well add in a yeah. couple extra... Gadgets, gizmos, mm. and maybe... And who's it's and what's it's. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just in time for the season. Right? Yes. Uh, happy Rusev Day. Happy Rusev Day. Yes. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Yes. As to you. Yes. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. Nothing like breaking some faces on <laughs> a TLC pay-per-view. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you know, we had the pay-per-view, and then yeah. we, we learned before the pay-per-view that Vince was mm-hmm. going to come to Raw the next night mm-hmm. to... Shake things up. Yeah, do we want to talk about that a little bit? We can if you I, want. I think I, well. let's let's go ahead and talk about that, and then so, we'll get into the meat of the pay per view. Since we're not going to spend a lot of time on the pre show matches, like right? yeah, like <laughs> the mixed match challenge ones. Yeah, yeah we're not going to. So anyway, so yeah, let's talk about how Vince shook things up. Yeah. So so he came out uh, with all the other McMahons. Yep. Which is funny that Triple H is is part of the McMahons. I mean, he is married into the family, but you know. Yeah, he's he's more on the Levesque side. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but uh, so yeah, he uh, came out and um, said said that uh, what they're they're firing the GMs. Yep. Yep. And bye bye Paige. Because bye Baron. Because of course they were the problem. They were. Yeah. yeah. They weren't listening to the people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and they, they he assured us that he and the other. Three McMains mm-hmm. were going to have a more uh, direct, you know, uh, role in 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 controlling the shows, right? Which both you and I, I think, collectively had a a groan. I don't know about how the rest of the audience feels, but like, I I, I feel like it's pretty common knowledge that like, for better or for worse, Vince has always been the final say in these shows. And recently, especially for Raw, it's been for worse. Yeah. And so, like, being assured that he's cutting out the middlemen with heavy air quotes. Right. Like, doesn't do anything for me. Now, like, if, yes, if they hold true to to, to the promise to listen to the fans more, like, cool. But, like... I'm I'm not a big fan, uh, but, you know... Uh, there's not a lot. You're not about, a McMahon fan. No, uh, that's that's. I think it's the last thing we need is more McMahon presence. Yeah. Um, now, as as I was saying before we started recording, if if like by indicating the other three people in the ring, uh, Stephanie, Triple H, and Shane, means that they're going to have a more equal say in you know the the final takes on uh, on on the storylines and whatnot, then maybe that's a good thing. Because I mean, Triple H has been killing it in NXT, that's true. and for all intents and purposes, that's his baby. That's you know, true. He is he is the Vince McMahon of NXT. So, like, if he were able to bring in some of his influence to that, I'd be all down for that. But I don't think the McMahon kids <clears throat> bring anything. Yeah, no, I I, I mean, don't understand. I mean, Stephanie what they on offer. the microphone, you know, she's getting booed as she's you know she she's all about the women's evolution and. You know, making, you know, women, you know, this, that, and the other. But I, I wonder that, you know, I think Triple H has more to do with that than she does. I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> I don't think she's really doing that much. And it's like, pick a character, okay? If you're going to be a heel, because you and I were both there at SmackDown 1000. Yes. She came out and pulled a big heel promo. Yeah. Oh, raw, 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 right? Yeah. And, you know, she comes out there and doesn't. You know, hold to a character, and the same with Shano. I'm, I'm sorry, I think Shano Max taking way too many bumps to the head. 
I, I, I don't think there's much there. Too many there. coast to coasts. I, I just don't see there's much there. So, I mean, of course I'm concerned, but, you know, I, I do think it's comical that they care. They, they're like, oh, well, the people, the crowds, you guys are the authority. Yet Vince has always said that he's going to do what's best for business. And that has never been what the crowd wants. No. Now, in NXT. Especially after they went, you know, public. In NXT, yeah, exactly. And then, yeah, your crown jewel sitting over there. Your, in NXT, it's been all about, you know, the fans. The fans are the ones saying, Adam Cole, baby. The fans are the ones that are, are, are freaking out because Tyler Breeze had a match. Yeah. So, and by so, the way, how great of him to respond to yet another open challenge yeah, on Raw. <laughs> why not? I, I hope he just becomes the open challenge guy. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Any open challenge, he's there. But I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I'm not holding my breath. You yeah. know. I I mean, uh, I at least give it to the Royal Rumble to see if anything interesting happens. And also, the Royal Rumble is like the place where, like, when they talk about they're bringing in new people and stuff like that and different faces. Like maybe that means they've got a whole slew of special guests that they're trying to book for Royal Rumble. Oh gosh. Cool. But like I think I think if if it's still the same same old story it, through Royal Rumble, then I think that all that was a pack of lies. If you wanted to really shake things up, Vince McMahon. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go, Phil. <laughs> if you really wanted to shake things up, you would have called the entire creative team for SmackDown and Raw out to the ring. And fired them all. You fire every single one of the creative minds behind what they're doing, especially on Raw. It's terrible. And SmackDown. And you bring in new talent as your creative staff. It, it's got to change. So that, to me, I would have been like, all right, I'm all about that. And the fans, especially the, the Smarks, are like, this. that would be great. But if you're going to tell me that the McMahons are still going to run this and, you know, oh, they're empowering the people, it, they're just trying to make money. But the smart people know that in order to make money, you need the crowd to participate. You need the crowd to buy not just tickets, but you need the crowd to buy merchandise. So yeah. how are you going to do that? By, by, by having Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton matches? I mean, nothing to those guys. Those guys are, are were great wrestlers, but these matches are not selling tickets. I, I we'll, we'll we'll have another Jeff Hardy match. Yeah, and look, I love Jeff Hardy. You do, but this whole thing between him and Samoa Joe—they didn't even make the pay per view. It's Samoa Joe, what are you doing with him? Yeah, he hasn't had a title since he was called up from NXT. Yeah. This guy is top notch. Again, I go back to creative. What are you doing? We're seeing the same people fighting the same people with the same storylines. I mean, let's go to the Seth Rollins uh, Dean Ambrose match and, and the build up for it. And and the audience is supposed to forget that Seth Rollins turned on Ambrose and Reigns to break up this shield initially. We're supposed to forget that. Yet in all of the promos that Rollins has, it's like, oh, Dean, you're the one turn your back on, on, on Roman and I. How dare you turn your back on your brothers? I'm like, are we supposed to forget the past? So I, that's where I think creative has gotten so bland. You want to shake things up? Get rid of the creative especially, staff. Especially just to, to, to piggyback on what you said, especially when, like, yeah, the, the, the creative – seems to be trying to like bury the fact that Seth turned on Dean, you know, and and Ambrose years ago. But like Michael Cole and Corey Graves bring it up every opportunity they have. Right. And also they've been calling Apollo Apollo Crews recently. Yeah. Not that I mind. I right. like uh, the, I like the name Apollo Crews, but I remember what 6 months ago it like was more or less officially stated that he is no longer Apollo Crews, he is right. just Apollo. Apollo, right. Right. Are we going to call him Uha Nation next? Woo. We... Yeah. Anyway, that's that's all I got to say about yeah. Maya. Uh I as 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 a little as a little sub uh okay. plot to that. Yeah. I do like that uh, one of the things one of the other things that they apparently mentioned at one point. I I watched it on Hulu, so maybe it got snipped out or something like that. But um at some point it was announced that uh, n uh, no more 
automatic rematches for fallen champions. Yeah, I like that because that was the, that's what ruined Charlotte and Sasha for me is that they kept jumping, you know, tossing it back and forth. Flip flop, flip flop, yeah, flip flop. Fucking Charlotte is now a seven time, eight time what you know women's that's, champion. But that's how you build it up. Holder, yeah, but that, she did that over the course of six months. She did. It's so she could play catch up and get uh, to what her get his, father. Yeah, yeah. Get, get as many. Yeah, she no. it, within her first year of being on Raw, she almost she has half as many title reigns as her father has. You're exactly right. Over his career in WCW and WWF. Yep. But anyway, boo. So you want to jump into the pay per view? Yeah, let's talk about the pay per view. We've been talking about this for ten minutes. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, we, we've gone longer on tangents. It's true, it's true. So the uh, MMC finals: Jinder Mahal, Alicia Fox yeah. against Fabulous Truth. I actually did catch this match. This was this was the so I I I, so, I was I was talking off mic. I, I didn't catch the pre show, but this when I turned it on, this was the first match that came up uh, because I guess on on the network it was like attached to the show show. Yeah. Because it was Facebook Live pre-show match or That's whatever. Correct. Yeah, uh, it wasn't good enough for the pre-show <laughs> match, but it was good enough for Facebook. Yeah, and it was good enough for me. I don't. Know, I. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I but, expect I expect less from Jinder Mahal. Right. So you know, <laughs> but I don't know. There wasn't much to write home about. Yeah. But uh, we both were right in saying the fabulous truth won. Yes. Right. Um, now the question is, what are they going to do? Oh, they're going to Stanford, that, Connecticut. Right. Well, what are they going to do for that thirtieth spot? Yeah. Oh you know, man, so. I hope I I hope I and and by I I mean the what culture guys are <laughs> are correct with with having our truth run in on the women's uh, 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 Royal Rumble and match. lose a spot yeah. on yeah. the men's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is that oh, oh, yeah, I yeah. thought this was a ladder match for men. Uh, yo, sorry, bro. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Um, What's up? <laughs> Uh, let's see uh, the cruiserweight championship, Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a this is a good match. It was a very good match. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, Buddy Murphy uh, had a lot of really cool spots. Uh, Cedric's a great wrestler. Yes. Um, so I thought the chemistry was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, for the lack of kind of build up, right? I guess. Well, um, maybe if you were watching two five live, you would have seen the build up to it. Yeah, but <laughs> but there was no real. I don't know. The the match itself to me felt really fresh. Let me put yeah. it that way. We didn't get a whole lot of oh I've seen that move. Right. Oh I've seen that. Speaking so, of build up to two oh five, if I may just do a, a quick tangent. Yeah. Congratulations to Mustafa Ali for getting yes. built up to the SmackDown. <clears throat> yes. I wonder if it was because of that match he had with Daniel Bryan that he I got so. promoted. But uh but yeah, good for him. Um but yeah, Buddy Murphy retained. I think that's a good thing. I think he needs to keep the belt for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um I and, agree. And I really think, I still think something needs to happen where he invades one of the major shows, not inv- but you know what I mean, like makes a name for himself, so people, are, so people kinda like, get kinda, more recognition. Kind of like what Kevin Owens did back when he was NXT champ. Yes. Speaking of which, congratulations, Kevin Owens coming back soon. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, 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 they had a video package that they said did. both he and Sami Zayn coming soon. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I can't wait. That'd be yeah. great. I'm looking more forward to that than Lars Sullivan, you know, making a debut it, on Raw. It does feel weird to have yeah. Lars Sullivan. Well, it's hard not to yawn when, <laughs> you know, you, you say Lars I Sullivan, love, right? I love Lars Sullivan. But I know like, you do. Uh, but, but I don't, I, I, I don't think he's ready to be called up. But Yeah. Well, he hasn't I, really done enough, in my opinion, in NXT to really warrant the, um, the, the, the raise. Right. I felt the same when they called up Nia Jax. I thought she came up too soon. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, Riot Squad too. There, there's been a few that, yeah. that got called up early that are a little confusing. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, fucking Mandy Rose had like two matches on TV before she got called up. Oh, man, she's good looking. Mm. Um, she's actually pretty good in the ring too. So, oh, know. she is too. Yeah, yeah. It was, I'm, it was, I'm not trying to diminish yeah, her ring was, skills. Yeah, it was not a mistake. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but, but, but it was kind of like, oh, Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like, like Come more, on over. It was, it was more like, oh, okay, she can she can roll instead of, yes, it's totally about time. Yes. Uh, triple threat match for the SmackDown uh, Tag Team chi- uh, Championships. Ch- ch- the, the, champions. The Chai Tees. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Bar retained. The Bar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, this match, in my opinion, was kind of what we expected. Yeah. Um, some nothing, nothing some crazy. Some shenanigans, yeah. 
but nothing, nothing, wasn't... nothing super exciting, but also not a wash. Yep. I was just glad the Busos didn't win. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> yep. And so right. the Busos, uh, Finn Balor against mm-hmm. Drew McIntyre. The demon was not there. No, that's fine. But story-wise, Balor- story it wouldn't have made sense. Balor did get the win. Yes. A little thanks to uh, Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. With the yeah. Uh, with with the kick on the outside of the ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was uh, to me. I I was I was still surprised that uh, Finn Balor won. Yeah. I I thought they would have. Uh, sorry, I'm very tired. Uh, <laughs> I thought you I got to stop that thinking was... about Lars. <sighs> really putting you to sleep. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> I uh I was thinking uh that uh, I was Lord. more so thinking of I was thinking of uh, of uh, of uh, 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 Roderick Strong's early early face work in, in oh, NXT. Womp, womp. <laughs> I, was, I tried really hard to you're, think of like someone that you like that I don't like. <laughs> you were really going for it. Uh, you but, uh, so old. <laughs> Our audience were putting them to sleep anyway, <laughs> right? right? Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Balor and McIntyre, right? Uh, yeah, I was. I was kind of expecting like that to be like, oh no, no, Dolph, Dolph helped, and then he comes back in the ring and like Finn almost pins up, and then he's like, no, I'm still Drew, you yeah, know? and <clears throat> and like that, you know, that co- starts the sequence that is the final, yep. where Drew still wins. So I was pleasantly surprised but at the yeah, same it was, time it was like, good to see balor win i, I was really yeah. excited about that and i and i and like i do feel like that's at this point with what they're trying to do with drew like that's the only way for him to lose is through interference. outside interference yeah. yep yep um elias beat bobby bobby lashley and uh and and your boy was that on the main show that was pre okay i was about to say <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm not going yeah. in any particular gotcha. order. I hope gotcha. you, yeah, I mean, yeah. for a hot second. For a hot second, I was like, "Wait, did I somehow fast forward through that?" No, because I was on. I was about an uh, about an hour tape delay. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, because I was working a show. You were where there was nothing. There was nothing going on, but we still had to be there to babysit the equipment. So I was, like, which was used probably just up on. Was it like I said? They, they just used it yeah, up on the screen just much. for the DJ and yeah. show some pictures. Yeah. And, Yep. Yeah, that's all it was. All right. Uh, so, so, so I was like, "Wait a second! Pay per view's been on for like an hour. I can, I could be watching this on my phone." Exactly. So, I, so, so yeah. Uh, so good for Elias to win. Yeah. I was, uh, but uh, of course, Bobby Lashley, you know, of course, broke the guitar. Yeah. I was not a big R.I.P. fan of that. Um, but anyway, uh, I thought that was a very good match. Yeah. Um, I really like how they're showcasing Elias as a face. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope this continues. Um, I don't know if it's good enough, like continues from like, uh, um, win the Royal rumble, but maybe we can put the intercontinental championship on him I could, at some point. I could point. see him totally being but a mid card. Come on. An Elias versus, uh, Ambrose. Yeah. I think that would be a pretty good match. Yeah. Um, so let's see, uh, let's see if Coat that happens. Scarf match. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Loser goes home cold. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio. I fast forward through this. Uh, one. I know, but there was uh one cool spot where Mysterio used uh, uh the chair as a sled to go outside of the ring. Um, I I thought that was a pretty pretty fun move. Yeah. Um, but ultimately it was Rey Mysterio against Randy Orton. Um, you know, not something that all of us were really craving for, yeah. but it was just kind of a filler match. But I guess you can't put those matches on the pre-show because of the those two guys, you know, what kind of, um, yeah, it's not like their rank, you know, it's not like they're Austin Aries and, um, and, uh, not Pac Neville. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Nice. Um, How do I know his indie name? So (laughs) never seen him on the indie. Rim Mysterio with the win, but nobody really cared. Yeah. Um, I think that was really like a bathroom break match for some, um, uh, Braun Strowman, Baron Corbin. Yeah. It was more like everybody against Baron Corbin yeah. as opposed to just Braun against Baron Corbin. Yeah. I guess a lot of people had some uh some uh Well, you anger. know, the 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 middlemen, the general managers of the show have really been the ones that have been messing things up. That's so. true. That's why you have to shake it up. Yeah. Yes. Uh but I, I don't think it was a surprise that um I oddly enough I was really surprised that like Apollo Crews was the first one to step out. I was like, yeah. "Huh?" Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Because like, I was like, has he? 
<laughs> Has he been having problems with yeah. him? Are these yeah. not in the Hulu cuts? Yeah. So uh, that one, again, I don't think there's too much to really get into because it was pretty much a squash. Yeah. Um, it but- was. It, I Oddly enough, I actually feel really bad for Baron Corbin because he was doing some of his best work as the general manager. He was. And so where do you go from here? Yeah, I know. What what's 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 he gonna do? Right. Go back into the mid card scene? I re- win the money in the bank again and I, then lose it again? I really think Corbin could be a good uh like so, a, a, a a specific wrestler's manager? S- like my man. Somebody that maybe the Miz could put under his wing. Okay. Or somebody that like a uh, like a uh, Damian Sandow, Ooh. like a like a Daniel Bryan. Yes. Yeah. Don't remind Daniel Bryan of that. Yeah. Um. But uh. But yeah, I can see that kind of role for him. I yeah. think that he would get more over. Yeah. Um. One way or another. Especially if he actually learned things from the Miz. Yes. So one way or another, I think that would be beneficial for yeah. him. Um. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh. Natalia but- versus Ruby Riot. Uh, we fast forwarded through this one. Wow, too. there were, really wasn't too much to talk about. Yeah. Uh, Natalia won. There were tears. Good for her. Yeah. Um, you know, the riot squad came out, but there really wasn't too much really to write home about. I saw that Liv Morgan got tossed through a table. She did. That made me sad because you know she's my future ex-wife. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like I don't like bad things happening to my ex-wives. That's true. I know. When when Carmella lost the title, you were upset. <laughs> I was too. I was yeah. distraught. I remember inconsolable uh let's go to the to the most disappointing match of the night in my opinion yeah seth rollins dean ambrose really they looked tired especially seth rollins Hmm. he looked tired he looked overworked they Hmm. took a lot of breaks your 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 friendly neighborhood seth rollins have you seen his have you seen his new logo the the x yes so so punk rock spider-man on the back of his denim jacket right. has the same logo, but instead of the R for Rollins, it has an M for man, and it stands for Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, so he's now your Friendly Neighborhood Rollins. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, because it's, it, for, for, for Seth, it's Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so every time I see it, I'm just like, oh, your Friendly Neighborhood Seth Rollins. This <laughs> match, there was, I mean, the crowd you know, partway through was saying this is boring. Were they? Um, I didn't hear. I didn't catch that. Yes, and I don't know. I just, I guess I hyped it up too much in my yeah. own head that I was so looking forward to it. It was a dud. Yeah, in my opinion, I don't know. I, I, you, now that I'm now that I'm thinking back on it, there was nothing that was super exciting about it. But I remember while I was watching it, being very into it. I don't know if it was just because it was my boy Dean. You know, in in his first title match in God knows how long, minus the tag titles. Uh, I don't. Uh, I'm not. Uh, who knows? I I don't know exactly what. Who who who? Oh, you know what? You know what it was? It was uh, it was like the first match, or uh, it was. I was I was invested in it because it was one of the ones that we disagreed on. So I was like, I was oh, really yeah. intently yeah. trying to figure out which one of us was going to get. The, the upper because, hand, yeah. Because I think I think that's the one where we tied because I because I guessed it correctly. We tied. Yeah, I had the bar. Yeah, and that that put me yeah. over. Um, a lot of our picks were very similar, but yeah, yes, we had, we had I, yes, we had what three four matches that uh, that that mm. set the tone for for us. Yep. Yeah. So I and also I mean I I love I love Seth and Dean. So I think I think I was just watching it with like you know some rose rose tinted glasses and I yeah maybe no uh, yeah I I like I said I there's nothing in it that I remember being like oh damn yeah and, but like but I wasn't I wasn't bored. Well, I think that was my problem is you're dealing with two guys like that. Yeah, you're at a TLC pay per view. And there was nothing. It would have it would have been really cool if it had been at least a no disqualification match, because it's, those guys, those guys can was, go hard on those but kinds of. There matches. was nothing. There yeah. was no, you know, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway. Okay. Um, but yes. Uh, so Dean Ambrose is your new Intercontinental Champion, mm. um, which is great. He is he is the moral compass of the WWE. But I will say, after watching that match, 
I'm not as high on Seth Rollins going into 2019 as I was coming into 2018. Oh, no. So, so the year so of saying, Rollins, is, it's I wrapping think, up I think quite, it's, quite, I think quite it's, properly. I think it's coming to a close, yeah. and I'm going to need to have a new prediction for next year. Um, but I think I was pretty spot it's on. It's the years of Lars Sullivan. No. I, <laughs> oh, man, Tyrus. But I need to, I, I'll come up with a new um, you know, year of Elias. That I actually, you know, what was funny as I was watching the uh, yeah. the guitar match, I was thinking that. Yeah. Um, I, I say roll with it. I I think it won't be until it the is, second half of the year. It is what WWE I don't think it'll be. For. Yeah, it is. You think he's gonna kickstart his year uh, after after WrestleMania? I yeah I I don't I don't see him getting uh, unless at WrestleMania he gets a title match or even at Royal Mom, I mean, he needs a title match with like an Ambrose. Right. And then I'll I'll jump on board. Okay. Um, but if he can get one of those titles this year, I think that would be good. Yeah. Um, Ronda Rousey, Nia Jax. Uh, Ronda broke her arm. Well, broke Nia's arm, quote unquote. You know, yeah. right? Did the. Uh, uh, but. Hashtag arm breaker. Yeah. Uh, Why haven't they tried that? I'm amazed <laughs> that they haven't tried that. I don't know. Um, they jumped on face breaker. But that wasn't the only time we saw Ronda during the night. It's true. Yes. Uh, but Ronda retains. Um, again, there wasn't a ton to really take away. We kind of both figured what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. It's, again, it was uneventful for me. Right. Like, I, the, it was fine. You know, uh, Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles. Woo. So these last two matches, I think, were the reason why. And you know, when I first saw you tonight, you you were like, "Oh, what a great pay per view!" Yeah, you, and I was like, likely. "Well, you know, it was pretty good." Yeah. But I, these two matches really, in my opinion, made the pay per view yeah. what it was. Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, um, the back and forth, um, uh, the um, AJ Styles, you know. Having the um, Styles Clash reversed, um, yeah. I, I just there there was just a lot of takeaways from this, and the new Daniel Bryan is is great. I I I love the direction that it's going. Um, it, he's he is not being fickle. That's true, it. and he would be proud of me because I I am not going off of a paper right now oh. for my notes. I'm going off of. You know something that's recyclable, yeah. right? And and you and you power it with the the sun. I do. Yes, there is a chip on the back of it that uh, that I'm able to do it that way. Yeah. And thank you for noticing, by the way. Um, but I was, uh, but I I don't know. I had a great time watching this match. This was, match, I was on the edge of my seat. Um, I really had a great time. What, yeah. what about you? No, I the the during the match, uh, I think some of my coworkers actively like look over, looked over at me. Cause I kind of was like getting a little giddy. Like, <laughs> I was slapping, slapping my knees. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that when, when, when styles got Brian in the styles clash, I was like, Oh damn, it's over. And then you just see him like flip it around. Oh, what did he, did he flip it into a submission yeah. hold like yes. a, like a leg. Yes. Like, uh, yeah. And, oh. and, and then to win via a roll up. Yeah. You know, counter. Right. You know, I, I that that totally threw because you don't expect matches like that to be won that way. Yeah, uh, that was fun. You know, at first I was like, "It's over already." Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. I loved it. It was great. Yeah, especially for like such a big match, and then for the to just be like, "Yeah, no, but yeah, I got him." <laughs> yeah, but but the cool thing was it was after like a number so of, much. Yeah, yeah. so. I didn't feel like I was gypped at all. That no. was a great match. Yeah, like if it had, if it had been like half as long and then it just ended in a roll up, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Hats off to both of them. Yeah, no, great so match, good. so good. Uh, triple threat TLC for the SmackDown win- Women's match Championship of the night. Yes, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Oscar. Oh my God, they, this is what they it came down to for the GCW other. Championship. It is. it is. This match was the decider and. It was the end of the night. Yeah, it was the last it was, match. It was. It was so exciting. Like I was literally like I was first. For, first off, like I think I, you know I think that was also part of the reason why I was so excited about. I've 
sat up in my in my in, in my yeah seat. you're really yeah. into it yeah all right I, uh, so well now I'm, all all the memory is flooding back <laughs> from like watching the show and like the excitement that i was feeling i think part of the reason why i was excited uh, another part of the reason why i was excited for the seth and dean match was that we had already had the braun Strowman thing that mm-hmm. we had said maybe that'll be the main event i hope not but it, it, and, and then, thank god it wasn't and then we had then we had seth and dean which was another one that we were like well maybe that'll be the main event yep and so i was like oh man there's only two matches that we said could be the main event. And I think there's only two matches left. Uh, uh, Daniel Bryant or, or uh, you know, like, or, or, or the triple threat. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. and then like the Seth and Dean ended and Daniel Bryant and AJ Styles come on. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh, the triple threat's going to be the main event. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and then it was because of course, why, you know, what randomly they have another match throw in there yeah uh yeah, elias <laughs> and bobby lashley yes. breaking a breaking just breaking more guitars yes. uh Ugh, terrible but yeah so uh so yeah like th- so i was already excited before the match even started i was just like oh shit the man versus the queen versus the empress of tomorrow yeah uh and yeah and it, fucking oh my god these girls are trying to kill each other i i mean the uh th- one of the big Things that kind of, well, first off, they all use the kendo stick. Yes, great. And but uh, Charlotte with the uh, spear on Oscar. Oh my! Through god. the barrier on the side. Oh my god! Because and I think it came out of nowhere. Yes, and that's what was fun to yeah, me. Yeah, I was not expecting it at all. Uh, the um, camera guy did a great job of hiding Charlotte away. Yes, <sighs> I, I so. Um, but there were a lot of great moves. A lot of. Um, you know, they all got offense in. Yes. Um, there was a couple like when, uh, was it Becky that, uh, they did, uh, she got flipped onto the ladder. Yeah. That looked like it really hurt. Yeah, it did. Um, uh, and then, uh Charlotte when, well, both when Charlotte and Becky, when, um, Rhonda came out, right? Yeah. So they're climbing the ladders. Yeah. Rhonda comes out and she pushes them off the ladder. Um, uh, that looked like a tough fall for uh, yeah. Charlotte. That that didn't look too. Friendly. No, it did not look comfy. But uh, when when fucking uh, Becky was on the table outside and Charlotte did like a yes. front flip onto it, and just belly flopped. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that hurt. That uh, Charlotte's trying to kill herself. Yes. Yes. Oh. I, yeah. I, I I I. They let it this, all out. This new Charlotte. This new Charlotte is is growing on me. She's like she's 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 like a uh, like a Roderick Strong. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Roderick Strong. I was really excited to see Oscar win. Not just because yeah. I retained the title, the GCW title yeah. with it, but the coveted. I was yeah. Boy, my shoulders are getting a little <laughs> heavy carrying these these you know, you, weights you, around. You could just you could just leave it here. Yeah, you I don't just, think so. You just leave it with I, me? Yeah, I, I get a lot of uh good comments as yeah. I'm walking out. Um but uh but Anyway, I was excited for Asuka to finally win. Yes. You and I talked about on the pre-show yeah. how she was booked since WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I, th- you know, We both agreed it was terrible. Yeah. And for her to finish up the year with the championship, to win it in that fashion, yes. it wasn't cheap. No. It wasn't... Uh, you know, like, oh, it yeah. Wasn't, it wasn't cheap, but it still protected both Charlotte and Becky. Yes. Yep. Because yeah. Be- Asuka still earned that. Still earned the shit out of it. Uh, and so, are we going to get a triple threat between Charlotte and Becky and Ronda at WrestleMania? Is that what they're pushing, I hope or what, not. I, what? I would. What I are would, we pushing for here? I, what, I, could, what? I could see that that's you Is know it? in the back of their mind. Yeah, but I would love for it to just be one on one. Who do you want? Ronda and Becky? Ronda Becky. Yeah. Okay. Then what would yeah. you do with Charlotte? I don't know. Have but her Charlotte... chase. Have her chase Oscar. <laughs> but didn't they wrestle last WrestleMania? They did. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Whatever, uh, John well, Cena and well, Rock did be, that. Right. So it would, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they could have yeah. a part two. I mean, I'm yeah. not saying they can. I just, right. you know. But yeah, I I would love that. The, uh, there was there was some fantasy booking that I heard that uh, has Becky winning the Rumble and her being like, I want Ronda. I don't care that she's on a different brand. I want Ronda. You know, and I, and, and I accept nothing less than Ronda. Nice. Ugh. And and when I heard that, I was like, <gasps> goosebumps. Yeah, that would be great. I would yeah. love that match. Yeah. Um, 
But I, I, I agree with you in a sense that I don't think I'd be a big fan of the triple threat. Yeah. I don't think adding Charlotte in there would really, um, unless you added some stipulation like what we saw at TLC, but then are we just rebooting the same thing? Yeah. Just at, you know, changing a character out. Um, but either way, I, this was the match of the night. This For was sure. a great match. The women killed it. Um, and I secured not just the GCW championship, but also are you the most valuable prediction you're serious for the match of the you, night you 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 won that again well the, what what match was it was it was it no the the, the match threat? of the night yeah you even called it before I could even get the words out you <laughs> called it the match of the night and honestly Chris I gotta agree with you that was the match of the night and oh, going oh, so off now, of the predictions so now, you're, now you're now you're using my own words against me well yeah I think so so and then going off of, you know, the predictions, I predicted and marked out to Asuka winning. I fist pumped. I said, yes, that was great. I mean, I predicted that too. No, you smarked it. You didn't mark out to it. So, unfortunately, that's how it's determined for that title belt. I can't believe you sit there with that smug look on your face and, and pretend that this has any sort of meaning to it. It yeah. is. It is... It is a, a waste of a belt. Really? Yeah. So when it's underneath my Christmas tree, sitting there for me, just glistening in the glow of the lights of the tree, I can't look at it and smile because no. I know that it's in my possession Be- to end out the year. I mean, how long has it been since you held a title? I, I You have a crown only, jewel. I am the only holder of the title. Of the king of predictions in NXT. Right. The, so you have the crown yeah, yeah, jewel yeah, yeah, of predictions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to mute your mic if you call it that it one more time. <laughs> oh, really? Is yeah. this like a pipe yeah. bomb? Yeah. No. <laughs> Say it. Say it. I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, I mean, come on. I'm not going to do that crown jewel. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> anyway. Just yank yes. cable out. But hey, you know what? Maybe 2019 will be the year, yeah, the year of Chris of Nolan. Chris Nolan. Yeah. Maybe at some point becoming not just the MVP, but you know, maybe you could be the undisputed champion. I'll be I'll be the triple threat champion. The, I'll maybe have all three. First ever. Yeah. That's very possible. Yeah. But you're gonna have to get these first. You're gonna have to get these hands. Oh really? Yeah. So I thought it was a decent pay per view. There you go. <laughs> Wrapping up, I think it was a decent pay per view. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it was my favorite of the year. Um, looking back at it, um, I think I'm gonna have to get back to you on which would be my favorite pay per view this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one, I think it's kind of right in the middle. I think, um, you know, WrestleMania it's no, it's was no probably great one of my. Of fire. <laughs> That's true. We didn't have one of those this year. We did we? didn't. No. no, we didn't even have a Great American Bash. <sighs> yeah. No we, in your houses. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No, that's a shame. No yeah. vengeance. No Armageddon. Nah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Armageddon. Yeah. yeah. None of that. That was an important pay per view. Yeah. For something. You let me borrow that DVD for. I did. For something. A you cri- a you Chris know what? Jericho I, match? No. No? No. But he's on the cover. Yeah. That, that's what it was. That's true. That was the Jeff Hardy triple threat. Right. Against uh, Triple H and Randy Orton. No, Edge. Yeah. It was Edge, Triple Is H, that the one and where- Jeff Hardy. Where 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 Vicky Guerrero runs in? He's here, he's here, and that's where Edge comes in. No, that's something else. Yeah, it's something else. But, uh, but don't that, listen to me. I don't know anything. No, you do. You're just tired of watching Lars Sullivan. Whew. So, um, so greatest that's it. wrestler this in NXT, our, Lars Sullivan. This is our last podcast for 2018. Yeah, it's been a great year. It has a lot of fun. Yeah, we 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 gained and lost a member. We did. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, we we still can't find that old belt, can we? No. Still never received it. Man. Oh, well. I, I like the new and improved one. Right? It it's looks, a lot shinier. It looks great. All it needs is a spinner. looks great around my waist. Ugh. But you know what? It's you know, made, it looks great on my floor there. It's made, from a, uh, it's made from a leather product. Yeah. So it's not good for the environment. We might yeah. need to change this belt. Yeah. Yeah, your plastic one is a lot better. From the uh, I, um, no, that's that's gold plated, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I don't gold, gold plated. I, I don't have anything aluminum. <laughs> no, I have nothing but gold plates. Yeah. But thank you. That's why it's so heavy uh, around my shoulders. 
Mm. Thank you. You know what? You 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 need to hold on to it sometime in order to understand the full effect of yeah. it. But that's cool. That's cool. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Rusev Day. Happy Rusev Day. Happy Lana Day. Oh, yes. Hopefully we see more of Rusev going yeah. forward. Yeah. I'd like to see him get a title. Mm. Maybe in the near future. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So uh, that's it for me. Yeah. No, I'm good. All right. Good. Drinks right. on you, Malt. I'm yeah. out. All right. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob.